Hey y'all, it's Brittany. How is it going today? I hope everyone is doing well. In this video, I'm going to talk about why I suggest data center technician jobs. Um, I made a couple of videos on my channel, one talking about how to get one of these roles and the second one talking about some of the best locations to work uh, as a data center technician in America. But in this video, I want to talk about the why because that's pretty important. And I'm going to read from a blog post from my blog, and I'll put a link to this particular article in the description box below if you would like to read it in full. But I want to talk about why, because it's one thing to tell a person to try to get a specific role, but sometimes articles or videos don't explain the why, or they explain why and just focus on the salary and benefits. While those are good, people also want to work a job that matters or brings them joy or keeps them active. And that's the reason for this post that you see on screen and the reason for this video that I'm making today. So let's understand the three reasons why I suggest data center technician jobs. The first reason, they are great for those who like physical IT jobs. Now, when I think about the various positions available in the IT industry, many of them are sedentary. I sat in a chair for a majority of my eight hour shift as a technical support technician. I would get up and go to the bathroom or to lunch and other roles like software engineers, database administrators and network engineers all sit down for the majority of their day. While some employers have installed standing desks, a recent study shows that those don't really help improve a person's health. And that's the, one of the reasons why I suggest this role. It's for individuals who are already physically active in their personal lives and they want a job where they can stay physically active. I covered the physicality of data center te technician roles in another article and it is linked in this one, but I'll give a quick summary. One, data centers are large buildings, so there's near constant walking. Two, server racks are tall, so one has to squat, kneel, and climb ladders to access the servers. And three, computer hardware is heavy and requires a good amount of strength to move it around. So think about the data center as going to the gym. There's a lot of strength training and there's a lot of cardio. You know, you got to lift heavy material, so there's your strength training and cardio. You're walking and sometimes if, if you're rushing somewhere, you could run. And like I said, they're very large buildings, so you're going to get your steps in. So if you're interested in a physical job, you, you want to stay active a lot, data center technician is a good option. The second reason, they're great for those seeking variety in their shift. So if you're an individual who wants to work on a, a variety of tasks during their shift, this is a great option for you. Now, some of these individuals want this because it makes the day go by faster. Others just don't want to do the same thing over and over and over. Just like other IT jobs, this role requires each technician to perform a task that comes through a ticket. One ticket could have the individual rack a stack networking hardware and servers in a rack. The next ticket for the day could have that individual run Ethernet cabling across the floor to a communications closet or into a customer's rack. Another ticket could have that individual escort a vendor, like a field service technician from an internet service provider, around so that person can perform a repair or install some equipment. And with this job, the tasks change constantly, which means little to no repetitive task. Each workday is different. And even for me, uh, I work as a data center technician in Google. Uh, I've been there almost two years. It's 23 uh, months and some days. Next month, we'll make a full two years. And I've worked in other data centers besides Google. I worked in the Twitter data center. Uh, I worked in a, uh, like a Colo. Um, it used to be called Peak 10, but they, now they changed their, well, they changed their name a long time ago to Flex Initial. So I worked a lot of different data centers and I speak from experience. While you can have some tasks that are the same, like you okay, you have one ticket where your rack is stacking, and you have another ticket where you got a rack stack again, a lot of times each day it's going to be different throughout the day. You may have to es escort a vendor because something broke for a customer and now it's a priority. So you have to drop this other thing that you were going to do, and now you got to go and work on this other important task. So if you're a person who doesn't like to do the same thing over and over and over and over, and you want all different types of work or task or whatever you want to call it, you know, things to do, this is a great option. And so go ahead and consider it. Um, my final reason why I suggest data center technician roles is because they're great for loaners. I am a loaner, so I speak from, exist, uh, from I said ex existence. I speak from experience. Um, 
because depending on the shift, there may be only one or two of you in the data center. And I see this happening more so with night shifts because um, I work night shift and I was by myself. It was me and the security guard. So if you prefer your own company and there's nothing wrong with that, I don't want you to make loner sometimes has this bad connotation, but it isn't. You just like your own company. You like talking to people when you feel like it, but a lot of times you just want quiet. I'm that type of person. I just like sitting quiet. And so, you know, if you are that type of individual, maybe look for a third shift role or even a second shift. Sometimes second shift is not that busy. Um, but it can get a little a little busy at times. You're the only individual. So that if a lot of tasks fall in, it can get a little hairy, you know, because you're, you're like, uh, so you got to have really good organizational skills, because if you don't, you can't get overwhelmed. It's if 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 really need another person there and there's not. Yeah, that can happen. And so there is a little stress when it comes to when a lot of tasks come in at once. But if you have good organization skills, um, you should be OK. But I will say it would be nice to have a coworker around so you can spread the work out. But those are the three reasons why I suggest a data center technician role. If you have any questions or comments about this, if you want to learn more, you know, please leave a comment in the comment box below. If you don't want to leave a public comment, if you would like to reach out to me via DM on social media, um, the links to my social media accounts are below. You can reach out to me on Twitter or X, whatever you want to call it, or LinkedIn. Um, and I do talk to individuals more so on LinkedIn, not so much on Twitter, but that's available. And I want to just say thank you for watching today's video. Again, if you have a question or comment, reach out to me below or social media, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.